Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Allegedly. Loney Love wants Tamar to be a guest on The Real. I don't. Y'all don't need to fellowship. You don't need to hug. You don't need to fake cry. You don't fuck with each other anymore. Let it be. Let it be. God, because it was, it, what it's going to do is you know Tamar can never let shit go until you give her that, you know, are you a Muppet read? And then, then she'll finally shut up. But you know she's going to go back and forth with each and every one of you heifers for the next eight months. And I am not in the mood. So no, I forbid it. Oh my God, I can hear the dip, 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 dip. now. Lori Harvey lucked up. They caught her with her stepbrother who apparently looks like Trey Songs, And somebody ran with the story. And then she was able to say, oh, this is my stepbrother. You can't believe everything you read. And only half of what you see. The City Girls are some of the hardest working heifers in music. They're coming out with a new track on Quality Control's mixtape. I hope it's a banger and I hope it's a bop. At least that girl will come out to some real money. Cause Carisha has been holding it down. They must have done a lot of recording before she heft on to the Hooskow. Smart. Is Phaedra Parks trying to keep Apollo Nida from his children? Yes. Apps are frickin' lootly. You know it, I know it, and Rose knows it. Quiet as is kept, I don't see why she don't drop them babies off with them. You know they with the grandmama. Phaedra's too busy farting around, flossing around, and fucking around from Chicago to Los Angeles. She's going from lap to lap with a map looking for some clout. She's trying to get her next reality show TV check going, honey. She's, she's staying where the filming's happening. So I say let them kids stay with the daddy. That way you can give him a little child support to shut him up and you ain't got to worry about him. Pull him out for a plot line when you need him. But I do find it interesting that Phaedra has had time for two high-profile romances. Two. With men who don't live in her city. I wonder who's next. And in fabulous news, Missy Elliott to receive the MTV Video Vanguard Award at this year's ceremony. It's about time. I mean, her videos are why we have videos. That shit is iconic. And this is just in time for her new music. I can't wait to hear it. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. The truth is starting to seep through. And I do mean seep. She tells Andy Cohen on his Sirius XM radio show, for many years she knew many things. But she throws her child up in front of her like uh, that nurse in Hannibal as an excuse. Well, I didn't want Kevin to have to change high schools. Like, you know, just, ah, it was the kid. It was all for the kid. Um, you could have stayed in that house and you could have put him out. He already had a $735,000 love nest with Sharina. So, I mean, he was already, like, between two houses back and forth and back and forth. So, ain't that peculiar, ain't that, ain't that peculiar, that it seems like, you know, this was already the situation and you just mad the Daily Mail put your business in the street. I, I am sick of hearing about this 20-year-old child always being this excuse for everything with your marriage. I mean, honey, she is using that kid like body armor. So I that, that excuse don't wash, honey. He already had a house. According to Medio Takeout, Shitty Onostril is cuddling back up to her big ugly Shaq. I mean, if Shaq can put up with you, I say go back to him because you seem very unpleasant. But you know he ain't gonna be faithful if you take him back, so just be ready for the Cheetay Tay. That Scott Disick show, Flip It Like Disick, is a dud. They barely drew in 500,000 viewers on their inaugural night. I mean, I didn't see any press or promomo. I, I'm trying to think how I heard about it. Probably on page six. But they ain't promote the fucker. They gotta promote the fucker. And it needs a strong lead in like the Kardashians, so I don't know. Because I was gonna peep at it. I love a good home renovation. Vicky Gunvalson blasts Kelly Dodd for calling her 
stale, stale. Ah, uh, uh, you have a stale face. I mean, you're both stale, so I think stale recognize stale, and stale can call out stale. Child, she said your only job is to find older rich men who want an arm ornament. You rent a 900 square foot apartment and pretend to be all smart. You mentioned you got a windfall from Michael and can pay cash for a home like Tamara's, then why don't you do it? All right, I might have to check out the crones. No, I can't look at those crones. Do you want me to peep at those crones? They say Cece will be leaving Basketball Wives after this season. Well, that depends on what her contract and the viewers have to say. Because if the viewers don't want to look at her, her ass is out. And if the contract says you're staying, then your ass is in. She's going to show up for the reunion show, but she doesn't want to be a cast member going forward. Ah, they can get rid of her ass. She ain't going to bring it next season. In other Wendy news, she says she's not ending her talk show. Well, I think Deb Mar and Mercury are the ones that decide whether that show will continue. I mean, with all those high hiatus, and I do mean high ain't high, I don't even know if that's what's best for your health. Like, how many embarrassing, cringeworthy moments do we need to have of you on television? I think you need to sit down, Heffa. I think you need to sit down in a facility. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. You're always in the news with some mess. I've stayed off of your ass. I've let you come out with your little music. It's done what it's done. Some people listened, some didn't. But I want to know why is it you never hear about Missy Elliott, Trina, LaKayla, Lizzo, Eve. Well, Foxy Brown, you do get some shit with. Rhapsody, MC Light. Why are there so many women in hip hop of all ages and in all forms of the genre? Why is it none of them are ever in the press with the mess like you? You don't never hear no shit about this from Queen Latifah, ever. The city girls, they out here, you know, the one half of got arrested, but there's never any woman against woman shit. It's always you. You are the common denominator. We ain't really hearing, like you heard about the little scuffle with Britney Taylor and Remy Ma. But that's not going on and on and on. It's you. So first, uh, we got a little shade from Trina's manager, executive producer. I don't know. He's something for Trina record label. Now, he didn't come out and say, okay, I see you giving all this love and promotion to that horse girl. But when it was time to promote BAPS, we got an Instagram story and a fuck you. We didn't get a video, and apparently they recorded the song two years ago. They were trying to get her to do the video, and she just wasn't responsive. They had to go through Baby to get the song cleared. Now, I also heard that there wasn't really a budget for the video, but she wasn't picking up the phone to find out there wasn't a budget for the video. Probably what happened was she heard there wasn't a budget for the video and knew y'all gonna cost me, call me and ask to come up off my coin. I ain't paying for the shit. You better shoot it with an iPhone and without me. So I don't know about that one. But I will say you did not promote BAPS like you promoted this Hot Girl song at all. So I definitely would feel a way if I was Trina. Then again, I mean... Girl, could you, you, this, what's sad is you're depending on Nikki to promote your own shit. Quiet as it's kept. You needed her. She ain't need you. But child, then the heifer was on Queen Radio, honey, cutting up. I had to force myself to listen. So Nikki had Joe Budden on the show. And honey, hilarity ensued. So they're having this conversation about whether or not the live and the song with that horse girl was pre-planned. I, like Joe Budden, think the shit was pre-planned. I mean, that's what happens in the music industry. Like, he's not attacking her. He's not saying she's evil. He was just like, oh, yeah, I thought, like, you already had the song recorded before y'all got on live. She's like, no, no, that didn't happen. It didn't happen. And he's like, oh, well, this is why we thought it did. And then she keeps taking it as an attack. You see, even when I tell you, it's like, well, it doesn't matter. Like, we're saying why we thought this and how it looks. It could be not true all day, but that's how it looks. 
And why do you care? Why does it matter? The song is out. It's number four on the charts. Woo-hoo. Yeah, they're complimenting the rollout, saying it was very effective and it was smart to use social media. And she's taking it as an attack, like nobody's vilifying you with this. Just because we're saying that the shit was a rollout, we're not detracting from your little friendship with Meg. And Meg better watch out. Nikki, I, I want to know why do you have so many fucks for what a Joe Budden says about you? Honey, everybody talk about you because you're the queen. The queen. So, okay, Joe Budden thought you was lying about the motocross shit. Put your messages out and don't give a fuck. He ain't got that much clout. Then again, neither do you. Joe Budden made a very astute observation. He said Nikki likes to corner people to a point when the point is so much broader. So we're talking about the motocross song and whether or not Nikki knew that Cardi B was going to be on the song. And so Joe said, well, were you doing your bars directed at Cardi B on the song? And Nikki's like, oh, no, no, no. Now you're changing the topic. Now you're the changing the topic. But he's not. It was proving his point. I got to say, Nikki and Joe sound a lot alike. Like they both use the same assholic tactics to be argumentative and obtuse. So Joe says, I don't remember saying that you didn't know that Cardi was on the song. Child, they go to commercial, come back, they've run the tape. You said it, girl. You said it. Now, Nikki keep over-talking Joe where he wasn't able to say why he felt what he felt. He was calling um, the Cardi B thing a trade, meaning you got something and they let her, they put her ass on the song. We never got to hear what it was because she kept screaming over him. Now Nikki going off on him about some drug accusations. Oh, God. It's exhausting to listen to because she's just yelling. And then the second he opens his mouth, she starts over talking him. And I, I mean, if you're going to have an argument, at least let the other person speak. Nikki, you going to call Joe childish after just sitting there screaming in his face for an hour. Oh, girl. Now she wants an apology for the shit that she says he said ain't true. I mean, Nikki, just because you say it doesn't make it true. And just because Joe says it doesn't make it true. And you're, you're just motorsport? That was like two years ago. Nobody gives a shit. Joe's right. You ain't talking about nothing. Oh, so we get to the drug use and he was like, look, you have talked about this ad nauseum on the record. So don't act like you ain't done the shit. And then she has his mic cut and it's very confusing because she's like, well, now you're acting stupid. Now you're acting stupid. Cut his mic because he's dumb. Now it's malicious specifically to Nicki Minaj because they were under the same people when she was coming up and he's jealous of her success. Just digging up the bed, huh? Uh-huh, just digging. That's what we're doing today. We're bed digging. Yeah, I can see you through the fan. Come on over here. Pete. Child, she's saying Joe trying to hurt her as a human being, and he's been attacking her for years. I could see a jealousy tea. Now Nikki's saying that Joe would not own the fact that he said some shit that wasn't true. Nikki, you never gave him a chance to finish his sentence. He would literally get two words out and you would out scream him. Like he would just stop talking because you were screaming and you can't hear anybody. So I, I, I'd say if you had let him get maybe past word three, you might have gotten an explanation. And the clip ends with her talking about Joe's bitterness. <laughs> really? <laughs> you just out scream Joe Budden. And, and you going to talk about his bitterness. All right. Okay, pot and kettle. Okay. Y'all are two peas in a trifling ass pod. You should marry him. That's what you should do. Oh, that was a long and boring interview. It wasn't, it, it was just one-sided. It was a lot of rah-rah, but they, they wasn't really talking about nothing. I'm disappointed. Well, those were today's hot topics, but I'll see you soon. For something. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lily. Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. 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 So, as my mug say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. 
Link below.